What's going on, everybody? So today we are doing the first impressions video for Cariolas. Now, I got to sum it a lot because I've had no recruitment or data chips here from the normal recruitment because it all was spent on the collab recruitment, which means oh, I got to summon a lot. So we are going to summon a lot. I am going to pick up my free pandemonium copy along the way. We're going to see how good this character truly is. I have high hopes for them. And we're gonna pick up some astral recruitment cards along the way as well let's just go right into it do some quick summoning and then get the first impressions out of the way i might go for immortal or i might do mythic in this video we'll see i like to go for mythic initially just to see if we can well determine whether or not they're going to do some big damage when they do reach immortal we were able to do so with sith and we were able to do so with basically every other character that we've gone to immortal and you can see here already 50 summons in no carryall is quite yet but so uh, we have to do eight more summons here and then we will move over to our pandemonium copy and then i believe we need like five copies of uh of carryola so we'll just go until we end up getting um you know about that amount there we go. There's eight summons. Let's hop over to Pandemonium. How are you all feeling about the anniversary event? Let me know in the comment section down below if you're feeling pretty good. I think the rewards are pretty good. I know some people don't like them, but well, I've been pretty happy with them, especially since none of the other events are delayed as of yet, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that is a big plus on the side of Eternal Evolution, which uh, is kind of awkward, I guess, even beaten down by all the recent events and uh where our expectations are low at this point so <laughs> come on come on guys we can, we can do more than just pity copies right we can do more than just pity copies there's our first pity copy i believe right that puts us at 60. yep so we're gonna keep going uh we'll go to 180. uh so that's another 62 summons at the very least so we can see what kind of value we're gonna get um out of this hopefully we get another copy but it doesn't look like it doesn't look like we are going to get another copy i'm really hoping we will but that's 30 40 okay okay so we got a second copy that uh, is looking pretty nice as long as we get two copies i'm happy outside of that if we got the one i'd be pretty disappointed because that would be very very unlucky but Here's another 10, or a two, and we're gonna finish it off with an epic. Okay, not bad. So we're gonna pick up our free copy, and now we're gonna go build them out. I'm pretty interested to try this guy out. He really reminds me of Northion, which is one of the reasons why I'm so excited. Uh, so let's see if he's able to perform as such. I'll be right back. All right, so we got him the Mythic 2. We do have the exclusive 10. We do have some talents upgraded. We do have some gear on him. I put him in a Surge set with some Sun Signet gear. Pretty solid. I wouldn't say anything amazing, but just some solid gear. Um, we really want to focus on crit rate, crit damage, and attack on this guy. We have some dam uh, damage decrease from his passive here. But one of the reasons why we want to go for crit, not only does it say that he cannot crit, but also we have this little passive effect with the exclusive where if it does critical damage you're going to push back and stun the target so this ends up really ramping up this especially for pvp but we have a lot of true damage we have a lot of aoe potential which is why we're running a surge set on him and of course we want him just to deal a lot of damage he is mythic too so he's not going to do as much damage as you want him to but i figured well as per usual we'll test him out and see if we can really see a big damage increase uh, compared to some of the other energy characters now let's dive in here and first off started with the endless battle now we have some heroes of the week i'm gonna move myself to the bottom right we'll go ahead and run with grace here we'll go ahead and put flowing rune on very very nice we can go ahead and just run anything there and then we'll run with the horn of healing and then i don't think we're gonna need a lot of healing in this so we are gonna run in with purin one of the reasons why i love running purin guys um i do need to upgrade her a little bit more we do have northion right and uh, we are gonna run a full energy lineup because they are the heroes of the week so we'll put in jaina which oh my jaina is an absolute beast and uh, we'll run in with Cariolus there fantastic and uh, we'll actually put in ourselves a res here actually you know what no 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 
I haven't run the tests yet because this is kind of the first attempt that I've run, but um, we'll just run with Ravenna. Standard energy lineup with Purin here. And we're going to see the kind of damage potential we'll, we'll, we will get out of someone like a Cariola. So you can see there that big nuke and yeah, um, some pretty big damage coming out of um, this guy. Look at that, 1.6 million per hit. Very, very cool. So obviously these guys are really, really low HP right now. So we're not really getting a ton of damage, but you can see the damage potential coming out from him. He's not really a frontliner um, like Norantheon is for sure. Um, as you can see from him just kind of nuking down people and he is supposed to be a really long range. So maybe he works better in the back row instead of the front row here. But, you know, we're seeing a lot of damage potential coming out from him. I'm very curious to see as we get deeper and deeper into the fight when these characters have a lot more HP, what kind of damage we'll see out of him. So let's go ahead and just roll this. Let's roll on 2x speed. I mean, you can see Jaina here. Uh, she's at the bottom of the scoreboard, which would not happen normally. That's only because, well, she hasn't been able to get in a hit because everyone's just dying in one hit. So let this run a little bit. I mean, honestly, though, he is doing a lot of damage. You can see the, the, the lines coming out from him and the big AoEs. So like right here, we're going to be casting an AoE. And in fact, I can put him on manual here just to kind of show you all what the ultimate looks like. So we'll go ahead and wait here. So this is what the ultimate looks like. We have a little tiny bit of a radius there. And then you can see it fires, it detonates, and then it does that big shockwave effect, which is what we were expecting. So go ahead and put him back on auto, um, do some more damage that way. And because of him, you know, doing that massive shockwave, he's actually doing a lot of damage. And look at that. He is actually surpassing Ravenna here. Uh, and Ravenna has been doing a lot of DPS kind of throughout the battle. Of course, she is kind of staying in there with her ultimates as well. So it's nice to see that. And you can see Purin's giving that ultimate over to, or the, the advantage with the highest attack to Jaina, which is one of the reasons why she's kind of blasting away and you can see Jaina is starting to really do work now I mean she just with the flowing rune and her you know hitting uh three targets she gets so much energy regeneration she starts to like absolutely blast um so you're gonna start to see Jaina really do some major work now that she can hit multiple targets when she couldn't hit multiple targets that's why she was at the bottom now though I mean Cariolis is above Ravenna and very very convincingly um kind of sitting in front of her uh, even though Ravenna is doing a lot of work and at the beginning she uh, was doing better than Cariolas now that the battle has gotten longer and you can actually see the full damage potential coming out from Cariolas we're seeing quite a bit of damage and look at that even with Jaina you know launching her ultimates I don't think Cariolas is outperforming Jaina necessarily in terms of damage potential it's just that in this specific situation without the refreshes of the ultimate we're not seeing Jaina's true potential either so this is a good kind of first attempt with the damage numbers and our mythic two. Keep in mind, Ravenna is exclusive 20. Jaina and Northian are both exclusive 30. Yeah, Northian did the most. That's just because of kind of what he's situated to do in this one. But honestly, very, very impressive from Cariolis as a kind of first attempt. So that was really nice to see. Let's go ahead and dive into story instance here, just because I'm kind of curious to see um let's go ahead and run in let's grab an energy character here where are you cariolas just because i'm kind of curious if we can see some damage coming out from him um let's go ahead and put him on manual here we have fiona we are running the assassins they'll kind of detonate things if i was running manual this would be a little bit different but you could see his damage coming out and yeah i mean he's doing really really solid damage and we're gonna go ahead and nuke down some people here there comes the detonation of the ultimate and that shockwave comes out and you can see the damage um from him is actually really really solid uh yes he just get nuked down or he just got nuked down by one hit but yeah i mean some pretty good damage coming out from this guy which is what we were hoping for and um, let's move on to um some arena we could try out katoshin triangle um in the roulette of truth but this is like a summon battle typically uh we could do battlefield of azira but i i'm not really convinced that like that's necessarily super important um of course when we get the crimson rot i'm very curious to see him in there but uh we can try him you know in sincero marsh that could be something that we could see some value out of let's go ahead and just run in and replace of uh, in place of raven i should say kind of the damage that 
maybe we'll be able to see from him um since you know this is mainly true damage i don't know if we're really gonna see a lot of damage but you know with miranda we do get some true damage out and well i mean some very very good damage coming out from this guy i'm not gonna lie uh i mean we are doing true damage across the board with his skills so you know maybe that's gonna give him the edge in front of everyone else and it looks like it is yeah so i mean cariolis uh, i guess i'm not super surprised to see him kind of destroy right because of that true damage he is gonna be way more valuable you know out dpsing someone like northion this is a mythic two level remember this is a mythic two level and of course i feel like with the true damage this is kind of his his operation you know but well i mean he's good at it so that's nice to see <laughs> he, he is expectedly good at the game mode that i was uh, expecting him to be good in <laughs> so yeah uh we're gonna have him be destroying sincero marsh if you're trying to go for that one uh definitely something that you want to consider but last thing i want to kind of jump into is arena which i'm honestly the most curious about i did drop a little bit because of all the random twitch con days passing by but since we are disabling charge skills we could disable the uh, kind of Northion going on here. I'm kind of curious to see that. Um, so what should we do here? We could run an energy comp and try to nuke down people. We could also run like a hunter comp to try to, uh, you know, annoy them there. What should we do here? Let's just, let's just try to run like a full energy comp and see if we can kind of nuke down some people. So we'll run in well, we can run whatever here we'll run the horn of healing here we will run in with northion here in the front row we will run ourselves a res run a miranda here and then in terms of energy here we'll run jaina and we'll run cariolis so cariolis is mainly going to place down that field in the middle and back row which is going to prevent um you know anyone from charging in and you can see the damage numbers wow <laughs> look at the damage from this whoa we just destroyed them this is not a difficult comp by the way um so you know that's a that's kind of an unfair test uh compared to what we potentially could do but wow that was really really interesting here's a tough tough tank comp here a pretty well situated tank comp let's see kind of the damage potential I'm not a huge fan of Northion against these tank comps because they oftentimes just knock them down and keep them permanently CC, which is really, really rough. Um, and you can see that big nukage coming out. Here comes uh, Northion's ult again. Jane is about to ult here. Yeah, Cariolis just died, but I mean, look. Wow, look at this, my friends. Look at this. Wow, I did not expect that. That was just an explosion of damage all across the board. I don't know if they're going to have the damage to take out Wamagon here, but I'm actually very impressed to see kind of that damage coming out. Now, Cariolis didn't do a crazy amount, but you could see the stun coming out from him and the prevention of some of the things going on. Uh, that was actually really good. Um, oh, it looks like Northian is going to die here. So Wamagon is going to take it here at the end. Because I do not believe Jane is going to be able to deal with uh, d deal with Wamagon here. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so she's dead now. Wow, that was really, really interesting to see with a full on energy comp. Let's run it again with a different tank comp on the enemy side. Um, I'm kind of curious. So you can see there when he did that straight line attack and knocked those people back with a stun. That's actually incredibly valuable against the tank comp and just against the comps in general in PvP. So it's really nice to see. Here we go again. Here's another line hit, and there's another knockback from um, our our boy uh, Cariolis here. Here comes the um, nukage from his ultimate. Here comes another knockback. You could see the damage, and the stun is so valuable here. The damage out of him is really, really impressive as well. Obviously, Northion, again, Northion is like the guy for energy comps, right? I don't think these would work particularly well without Northion. You can see the damage he's able to do, the survivability he's able to offer, the grouping up he's able to offer, right? But it's nice to see Cariolos really offer not only the damage, as you can see here, where he's almost keeping up with Jaina, but the CC is incredibly valuable. Here comes another hit from him. 
Wobbegon is super difficult to deal with. I'm not going to lie. Um, he is just a nightmare to deal with. If you don't have heal reduction, um, you can see there goes another heal uh, from him. Hopefully we'll be able to nuke him out. And nope, Wamagon's going to be able to take out our whole team. Yeah, Wamagon is a big, big problem <laughs> in these comps. Uh, definitely one of the most annoying parts about PvP when you're fighting the tank comp. Let's see here. We have an assassin lineup. Okay, so they have teleportation, which means they'll probably be able to get in our back row and we're not going to be able to prevent it. So I don't think that this comp is going to be particularly good against the assassins. I think the assassins will kind of destroy us um, unless Northian can kind of carry here. You know, if we had Cariolus up and available, we could have prevented Leo from kind of doing his thing. But you can see here, yeah, just not really able to prevent the assassins from getting in the back row. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and die here. So that's going to be a defeat. Pretty standard stuff against an energy comp, right? They're kind of idealized for fighting the energy characters. Here we go. We have an Ares. This is perfect. So this is a comp that we're going to find a lot of charging coming out from Ares. And I'm hoping Cariolus is going to be able to do something against this. So I'm going to put this on 1x speed, actually. Um, and we're going to be able to hopefully see um, it absolutely get stopped here when they try to dive into the back row. Um, so, I mean, unless they just straight up die, which it looks like they're kind of just doing. So we didn't even get to see some charges coming out. So little unfortunate there i don't think i saw aries get a full rage bar there so i don't think we would have seen him go at all there are probably some formations that we could run i'm not here to like explicitly test every single different formation you probably could run like you run some tanks with him um, and then you can run this and that and the other thing to try to get the comp to be as good as we possibly can as a counter to um aries right that's not exactly what we're here to do like we could run aries and try to go for you know some assassin comp against or uh, try to run cariolus and fight some sort of assassin comp um with cariolus on the assassin side and uh, prevent Ares from kind of nuking us down you know something like that but you know there's obviously a ton of different variations that you could run there's an a uh, more summoner i mean it's kind of like a mixed match i don't think that's gonna be pretty I don't think that's going to be difficult to beat at all. Um, we have another kind of tank comp uh, slash energy. There's some summoners. We could try against summoners real quick. We could see if we do some good value, good damage against uh, the summoners. Honestly, the summoners have been pretty good with Dorley. So it's nice to see that they're kind of making, they kind of made a resurgence, but the energy tends to be pretty good against them, specifically Northion, of course. And you can see the nukage that we're getting out from them just kind of wiping them out and yeah okay this was a bl absolute bloodbath <laughs> an absolute disgusting bloodbath wow Jaina Jaina is very very good against the energy characters as well because are the summoners because you're gonna have so many targets to hit so that's really really nice but Jaina kind of nuked them down okay okay um is there another comp that we could try against uh or try Cariolus against there's another summoner comp um we have uh Leo I guess some random garbage we could try it against this just to see another you know showcase of Cariolus I don't really know if we're seeing you could see them uh or Cariolus stopping Crete there with the kind of circle which is quite nice um and then it detonates uh now it won't be blocking any more of that but or any more charge attacks necessarily so I don't know if this is going to be a great showcase of Cariolus I think he's a little bit squishy, but I do think he fits perfectly in an energy comp. You know, if you're able to keep him alive for a couple of minutes uh, or a couple of seconds inside the fight, you can oftentimes get those stuns off, which is really, really useful. And he actually does a good amount of damage. So I'm actually pretty impressed with him for PvP. I don't think that I found the perfect comp for him, but I do think that he is performing uh, quite decently. So what would I do for my first impressions? Kind of where would I put him? Um, well, I do think that Clearly from a Mythic 2 level here, he's able to do the DPS that we're looking for. He's able to fulfill kind of the things that I'm looking for in an energy character. Lots of true damage, lots of AoE damage, and has some utility in things like PvP as well, which is very, very interesting to me. Uh, so I'm very, very much, much enjoying that. So I do think he's worth going for. I do think he should be summoning for at least one copy of him anyways. Um, but... I would wait on going all out, I would say, uh, for the current moment because of, you know, going for the next value 
in terms of the second week summons for hero rally i would wait until then but i do think he's gonna be worth summoning for and i'll give my kind of full impressions in a later date in another video when we kind of test him out more but very very good aoe dps unit here and someone i'm pretty excited about so yeah other than that guys hopefully you enjoyed and well i'll see you all for the next one